Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. Today we are looking at the last of the 2016 Johnson wins that I needed. It's the 2016 Atlanta win. The first win of 2016, but the last one I was able to finally get my hands on. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at it here. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the box and we'll move along from there. Standard Elite box from the 2016 season, the Matte Black Elite uh, on all sides. The main part here is one of 122, so not very many of these Atlanta wins out there, but I was able to uh, get my hands on one. Uh, now I have all five of his wins from that year, which are Atlanta, Fontana, Martinsville, Charlotte, and Homestead. So all five wins uh, I was able to get my hands on, and this was also his 76th career win, so this is where he tied... Uh, Dale Earnhardt. So you can see here, Jimmy Johnson, uh, February 28th, 2016. Uh, time of the race, 3 hours, 15 minutes, 38 seconds. Started 19th, 3 cautions for 13 laps. He led 15 laps, and it ended under yellow. So that's how he scored that win there. Um, does it say on the back that he ties? Nope, just says Johnson wins NASCAR's first overtime points race. I guess this was the first time they said, uh, or that it, they must use the term overtime. I don't know, because they've had green white checkers, but... Uh, you can see here we've got the winner sticker that also comes along with it for a Sprint Cup Series. Also does have this here, which is in 33 of 122 for the Certificate of Authenticity. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this car, because this car is one of a kind. So we're going to start here on the left side. You can see we've got the metallic blue going on here on the hood. Uh, you can see metallic blue moving to the silver. And we've got kind of a white streak, the white number 48. We've got Lowe's, Cobalt on the left rear corner, Pro Service down here. You can see along the skirt, we've got the rivets going along there. Um, later on in the year, they would change the number color to yellow. Beautiful decision, by the way. So this is the only one of 2016 with the white numbers. The rest of them had the yellow numbers um, towards the end of the year. But um, beautiful decision to make that change. I mean, the car was good looking. Don't get me wrong. This is a good looking Lowe's paint scheme right here. It ran for 15 and 16, I think. So it's a good looking low scheme, but they put that yellow number back on this thing. It looked amazing. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, the Twitter and Facebook handle up there along with the winner sticker. You can see the metallic blue in there and the silver. It just looks great. The blue and silver lows always look good. Once I put a little more yellow back on this car, it just, it's, it's, oh. Man, I can't even explain how good it looked once I put the yellow number back on. Uh, we got Lowe's on the back. Uh, you can see the Monte Carlo SS rear end, number 48, and Valvoline. Go ahead and pop open the trunk, and you can see braces, tethers, and the fuel cell is in there. Hard to see because of the light. Uh, we got Lowe's on the deck lid on the back. You can see that metallic blue again just coming through. Din number 33. Uh, roof flaps do open. I'll only open this one for now. You can see the tethers and stuff. Uh, the other one was a little snagged, so I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, you can see here we've also got the holes for the antenna in there as well. Uh, also, you can see all the little dirt spikes in there, the little dirt specks on the front of the four there, because it is Atlanta, so it gets nice and dirty. Windshield, Johnson, um, Chevy emblems, and doesn't look like there's much dirt on the windshield, so pretty clean there. But let's go ahead and look at the right side, because the right side is going to be dirtied up. You can see cobalt, you can see the uh, brand new tire tape on here. A little bit of rubber buildup right here on the right rear. Uh, you can see it kind of from here on back. Even on the number, though, you can see there's a little bit of the buildup. Sprint Cup Series and Coors Light over there. Uh, but you can see mostly just right around here, there's a little bit of it. Just kind of the classic Atlanta markings. Get to the nose of the car, white splitter down below, and then you can see kind of the rubber buildup along the nose. Look at all the little black specks. Um, just above the headlights, above the grill, on the Lowe's logo, you can kind of see how dirty it is. Top of the hood, there's a you know kind of a bundle of it there. Um, right front corner is actually really dirty. You can see all the dirt sprit kind of just all over this right front corner. Uh, left front corner is a little bit cleaner, not quite as much there, but there was a lot on the right front. So, uh, very dirty car. It's hard to see because of the kind of the color mixture, but it does definitely have a, uh, a decent amount of the. Um, of the buildup on there. So um, overall, this is definitely one of the my favorite ads. Um, it, it makes the whole set of 2016 cars pretty cool, but um, you know, the yellow number definitely looked better, but uh, getting his, his whole group of 2016s is definitely something that I've been kind of wanting to get for that final year that he raced um, 
I shouldn't say race, but the final year he, he won that title. So, um, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the notification bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Uh, also, make sure if you haven't already to subscribe, or to, if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell, uh, check out the link to RAS Diecast where you can pre-order new diecasts and uh, new or new stuff that comes in will be on that site as well. So, that'll wrap it up for me. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next. Diecast review.